all of this you can find in this. Hi internet, I'm Steve. Welcome to Raffo. Alright, part two of Cosmere Connections, the Stormlight Edition, Way of Kings. Again, if you have not yet read the entire Cosmere, this is going to be absolutely riddled with spoilers. I'm going to be talking about specific plot points with major reveals dealing with Mistborn, Warbreaker, and everything else. This video will be about Way of Kings, the first book of the Stormlight Archive. Which, again, if you didn't know, stop watching and go read! Because all of the Stormlight books deal with the same characters in the same places experiencing basically the same events, I'm going to try to keep interbook connections to a minimum. Hey look, it's Adolin! You met him two chapters ago! There are, of course, some more nuanced or minor ties between books that I may bring up, but I'm aiming for connections to the Cosmere as a whole. Right at the beginning, in the prelude to the Stormlight Archive, we meet Kalak, one of the Ten Heralds. Also, there's another Herald waiting for him, Yezrian, who we'll see again in the next chapter. And there's all of the Honor Blades, minus one, which eventually make it to Shinovar. The prologue, the Everstorm, is actually mentioned in the epigraph. The first time we see the assassination of King Gavilar. Zeth is obviously important to the rest of the series, but the prologue is also riddled with easter eggs and hints at what's coming later on. The evidence of multiple heralds is seen. Nail and Kalak are spotted together, Yezrian is in the Beggar's Feast, and Shalash's statue is conspicuously missing. Stabby Stabby happens, and Gavilar suspects that Thytokar or Rastaris might be behind his attack. He then gives a weird black sphere to Zeth. This is also the first time we see a shard blade summoned, coalescing as if out of mist, as well as someone breathing in and utilizing stormlight, which leaks or puffs out like mist. This is apparently completely intentional to show the connection between stormlight, the gaseous investiture of honor, and the gaseous investiture of preservation seen in the mists on Scadriel. No other Cosmere connections are really seen until the first interlude in the Pure Lake, which has a lucky fish kind of like Aviar, where we see Grump, Galadon from Elantris, Blunt, Bayon from White Sand, and Thinker, Demu from Mistborn, who are members of the 17th Shard looking for Hoyd, who is, of course, the King's Wit. But he also used to go by the name Topaz. Speaking of, the epigraphs in Part 2 are a letter from Hoyd to Frost, a dragon on Yolan, the original Cosmere planet. These also mention Hoyd's acquisition of Laracium, Aeti, the original holder of Ruin on Scadriel, Aeona and Sky, Devotion and Dominion from Cell, and Bavadin, Autonomy from Taldane. Whole bunch of shards. Talking with Kebsal, Shalon says she studied under Dandos the Oil Sworn, which is a reference to Dan the Santos, who's done a bunch of gorgeous official artwork for the Cosmere. While we're at it, the royal cartographer is Isasik Shulin, Isaac Stewart, who does all of Brandon's maps. The second batch of interludes introduces Risen and Vistum, who have a similar alerter fabriel as to what's seen with the Iri in Secret History. Risen gets her pot of dumb grass, and we learn that Zeth was originally brought out of Shinovar by Vistum. We also meet Axes the Collector, a Sia Imian with the Curse of Kind, as far as we know, chronic bad luck related to fortune. And Zeth gets a new job! <laughs> The third batch of interludes highlights Shalash's vandalism career, and really cool research about Spren. At the end of part three, Amaram suspects Thytokar in sending the Shardbearer that Kaladin killed. He apparently communicated with Rastaris about that situation as well. More death rattles, like from part one, are the epigraphs of part four. Pretty sure we haven't seen what all of these are referring to yet. I've got some theories, though. At the next feast, Wit asks Dalinar if he's ever heard of Adenalsium, basically checking if Dalinar was Cosmere aware. Then Kaladin wanders out to the plains, and Hoyd tells him the story of the Wander Sail, possibly using Yolish light weaving. He gives Cal his flute. The death rattle at the beginning of chapter 59 is straight up about Kaladin at the end of the book. Even just skimming and reading summaries, I teared up at that part. Not really a Cosmere connection, I just really like it. Then at the very end, Taln, the abandoned herald from the prelude, shows up with his spike-like honor blade. Hoyd uses the word coin, clearly marking him as a world hopper, manipulating connections somehow to communicate, rather than actually learning the local language. The back end papers are a map of Shadesmar, with the different expanses leading to other worlds in the Cosmere. The expanse of densities is to sell, Vibrance, hidden behind the Shadesmar sign, is probably to Nalthus, Vapors is to Scadriel, and the expanse of the Broken Sky is... somewhere. Maybe Taldane? 
or Threnody. And that's basically Way of Kings. There are bits that allude to things in future books, but we'll try to harken back to those when we get there. Thanks for watching! Also, thank you to the incredible artists that allowed me to share their art. More of their work is linked in the description. Huge thank you also to my patrons. Doug, in particular, you are having a massive effect on my channel. If you liked this video and want to catch the next ones up to a full week early, check out my Patreon below. I'm still researching all the connections in Oathbringer and Rhythm of War, basically doing a focused reread. So if there's any points you've discovered, please join my Discord and bring them up. I want to make sure these videos are as comprehensive as possible. If there's anything from Way of Kings or the rest of the Cosmere that you think I've missed, comment below. Or just comment if you learned something. I do my best to respond to every comment, so I'll be sure to read and find out. The next video is gonna be good.